Max. Greg. I'm not sure if you saw the news out of Florida. And no, it wasn't that somebody was eaten by an alligator again. Although, it seems like everything weird happens in Florida, right? It's true. It's where, it's where weird people live. Yes. But this is a decidedly not weird. Right. This is the <laughs> groundbreaking Florida in a good way. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Normally when we talk about things that have never happened before right. in Florida, we're talking right. about like, I don't know, a guy. Man robs a gas station, leaves wallet behind. Yes. That kind of stuff. Nude. Nude. You know, something yes. like that. This isn't that. No. Instead, uh, Florida has just hired mm-hmm. its first female high school football head coach. Mm-hmm. Uh, football. Yes. yes. I said that. Did you? High school okay. football okay. head coach. All right. I thought you just said yeah. high school head coach. Uh, I'm going to try. Lacatriona Laca Triona Brunson. I'm going to refer to her as Miss Brunson from that's, here on out. That's fine. Better Laca than I could have done. Laca Brunson yeah. has been uh, hired at the as the head coach at Miami Jackson High School. Uh, she is the first uh, female head coach in Florida's history. Um, Pretty awesome. And uh, there's a couple of different things in there. First of all, she is a uh, she is on a reality TV show. So that's part of this, uh, which kind of takes away. From I don't think I knew it. that, but now I'm kind of like. Uh, and her defensive coordinator um, was once in the hip hop group Two Live Crew. Oh yeah, it's so, Luke, right? Yeah. So there's cool. yeah, okay. there's a couple of uh, a couple of bits going on here sure. too. But she's not. I know she's not the first high school football female high school football head coach in the nation. I know that right. I've seen other stories. I think in the Baltimore area where there's a female high school football head coach. Um, and so it's obviously an interesting step, uh, whenever you're talking about history, whenever you're talking about breaking down right. a gender barrier that has always been in there, whether it, it's never been a written rule no. that girls can't coach, but it's kind of been an unwritten rule. And when we talk about the high school football coaching fraternity, we use that word for a reason. Because it is entirely male. There are no high school football coaches, head coach or or assistant coach in the state of Texas uh, that are that are women. Yep, it's entirely male. Um, that's not to say that that is a good, bad, or indifferent thing. It just right. is. It's a fact of life. Mm-hmm. Uh, so the question now becomes: How long until? This comes to Texas because let's be real. It's not an issue of if. Right. Right. Progressive progressivism is in, you know, in, you know, it, it happens. It's pro, it's called progress. It happens. Right. You know, it's going to happen. And so there will be a female high school football head coach in the state of Texas. Also, we just have w- way too many teams. I mean, not too yeah. many. Not too many in no. the fact that I want fewer. Just there are so many teams. There's a lot of job opportunities. We preview. I mean, we preview yeah. 1,400 high schools in the state right. of Texas. Right. You're telling me that there's never that. So let's just take just take the head coaches. That's 1,400. Just take the head coaches, and the offensive and defensive coordinators. Okay. Let's say those are three different people. That is. I'm doing math here. <laughs> a tradition unlike 40, any other. 4,200. That's 4,200 jobs right Greg there. Greg doing stuff on his computer during the show. You're telling me those are all going to be men? And I know what the initial response is going to be. I don't they know. They didn't play football. Sure. So they can't coach there. Right. And that is, I'm not going to say the dumbest counter argument, but it's a dumb one. Yeah. Because you don't have to be... You don't have to. I think there's this notion that you have to have played football in order to know football. Yeah. Or anything like that. If that were the case, then everyone on TV talking about politics would be woefully underqualified to talk about right. politics. There's a lot of there's. I mean, I think there's probably a fair amount of coaches that would admit they they have been with coaches in their career who maybe their greatest asset wasn't their football mind. Yeah. But their ability as a motivator, as a leader, mm-hmm. as a parent, yeah, you know, to many of these players. So I think there's a lot of factors here that you have to weigh when you're considering why a coach might be successful or worthy of a position. And I think sometimes 
their skills and, and their football mind isn't necessarily at the top of the list. It's kind of secondary in, in many respects. A lot of communities need a lot of different things than mm-hmm. other ones, too, and yeah. I think that matters. They need community leaders. They need somebody yeah. who's going to be able to take the program and control the program and, and work it. The X's and O's part of it may be secondary. Correct. But beyond that, yeah. there are many, many, many. I mean, there, there are many, many women out there who know more about football than us. More about football than maybe a lot of coaches. Because it's not this idea. I think that the idea that you have to have played football or you have to, you know, be really ingrained in it to understand it, I think is just totally misguided. Yeah, I think that's fair. And even so, we've seen more and more female football players who are, you know, playing. They pop up every once in a while. So that's part of it as well. So the question of when we're going to see one is an interesting one. A female head football coach in the state of Texas. I think it's coming sooner as opposed to later. Because I think there are too many smart, football savvy women out there, especially in this football especially crazy in this Especially state. in this football yeah. crazy state. Absolutely. That it's it seems like it's just a matter of time. Right. Uh, for me, uh, I think I, I think if you're going to see it, you're probably going to see it in the private schools first. Yeah. Generally speaking, that's where those those uh, innovations tend to go because there are, um, because I I don't really know why, but it it just tends to happen that they go to the private schools first before it seeps into. I mean, if I were going to speculate and just weigh odds, mm-hmm. I would honestly be like, maybe it's a smaller school in a tougher community, and the person, the woman, is a fixture in that community, a leader, mm-hmm. would command the respect of anyone in that community, mm-hmm. and I think there's a possibility there as well. Yeah, maybe like a small town, like a two-way, yeah, like a two-way program or yeah. something like that. I think that's interesting. Yeah. Uh, I think you're right. I think that if you're expecting the first female high school football head coach in the state of Texas to be at a 6A program, right. it's probably not going to happen. Okay, It's probably not going to happen just because... There is too much. We, we've talked about it on this show. The bigger the program, the bigger the politics. Yes. And th- fair or not, there are not going to be as many. You need more people on board to get a 6A job than you do a 2A job. Right. And let's just, I mean, it's a numbers game, too. Let's talk about opportunities. You know, the number of people applying for a 6A job when it opens mm-hmm. up versus the number of people applying for a small 2A job where the, you know, the rise to success isn't as accessible. Mm-hmm. It's a big difference. Mm-hmm. There are more opportunities at lower levels, mm-hmm. I think. I think that we're going to see it soon, and there will be coverage of it. I think the state is ready. I think that I think so. I think that I think that this notion that Texas is this backwoods, cra- you know, crazy. We don't we don't have any sort of no. You know, w- you know, we're sexist or whatever it is. I think that's misguided. Well, I think number one, this state knows football better than anyone else. Sure. And any woman who got hired in that position would have been put in that position by people who know football. Yeah. You know. And and there are too many, as I've said before, there are too many foot. Uh, women in this state who know football too well yeah. for it not to happen soon. Yeah, I think, I think it is an inevitability yeah. here coming here pretty soon. I'm just interested to see where, where it lands, uh, where, where it ends up being. I will say I'm disappointed Florida beat us to it because it's Florida. Yeah, but they did it for a reality show, which is the most Florida thing ever, yeah. right? <laughs> no, this is, this is fair, but I, you know, Florida's the worst. Yeah, I think that you'll, you'll see it, and it won't be easy for that, for that person because she's right. going to get some side eyes. She's oh, for gonna, sure. She's gonna get. She's gonna face a tougher road because she is the first. But I, but again, I think anyone who hires that woman will will do it with the full knowledge that she can handle it. And it, I think it comes back to the fact that the notion of the notion that we that you have to have played or you have to be a man and it's just a man, you know, it's a man's sport. I think that's waning, and I think that there are there is ample evidence to su- to suggest that that is simply not the case. So I think that the time is going to be, um, you know, the time is coming very soon for a female high school football head coach in the state of Texas. It may, it may start with a coordinator. In fact, it almost certainly will start with a coordinator. But eventually, it's going to seep into high school because high school is where 
innovation starts. Yeah. And so I think that that's what you're going to see more and more. So Sure. Do you, do you want to put a timeline on it? Do you want to make a guess? you want to go on the record? Mm, within the next five years? Head coach? Oh, um, I don't know. You know, the interesting thing, though, is why wouldn't it be a position coach? Because, you know, you go to these schools, and a lot of times the women's soccer – or the girls' soccer coach, who's mm-hmm. a guy, is also the kicking coach mm-hmm. for the football team. I mean, why couldn't – Sure. Why couldn't a female coach do that? You know, so I, maybe that's sooner, but head yeah. coach within five years? I'll say eight. I will. I will take. Yeah. I'll play the long no, game. No, that's, that's fine. I'll say. I'll sense. say within eight years. Right. So what? By the time we're t- we're doing this episode number nine thousand, yeah, and uh, we're doing, uh, you know, we're we're talking about the the new head coach at Lampasas, uh, named the Badgers, named Brandy McCain. Then, sure, that's what that, I'll say. Eight years. I, I think that within eight years we'll have a female Texas high school football head coach. 